Welcome to Throwback Thursday, where I play a game that I've already reviewed in the past, and this week I'm going to be doing a request from Sith Critic, who asked me to play Qbert on the Atari 2600. Now it's going to be a. I'm going to definitely have to do a little bit of refreshment, uh, or, or do a, a bit of a refresher on the controls because I know that the. Oh shit! All right. So yeah, left is upper. Left. All right. So I want that thing. Up makes you go upper right. Oh boy. Keep going down. Oh shit! Here he comes. I'll get him off the screen and take out those last couple blocks. It's even after figuring it out, I still like there's still like uh this yeah, this guy keeps taking away my Oh shit. I thought I was dead right there. Get out of my way. Ah, motherfucker. See, Cuber, uh, is does have a foul mouth. Uh, even after figuring out the controls, it's still, like, I still want to kind of press. I still don't really know what I want to press sometimes. I just kind of do it based on feel, and it's after a little bit of muscle memory will that really kick in. Screw you, green guy. I don't know what his name is. All right, I almost got this one. I could have, I could have definitely grabbed the bonus. Is this when I start? No, it isn't. Uh, eventually, it starts to be get to the point where you have to change the color twice on each cube. Oh, that didn't do anything. What the hell? So it's not necessarily that he's on the screen. Oh, he has to be on the edge. Okay, I think he must have been in the center. That's my. That's what I'm guessing. I thought that it took him out no matter what. Alright, I'm starting to get the feel for it. I think this is the first one. Yeah, I kind of remember the orange cubes. But it's, it's weird how shit like that stays in your memory. Like, I kind of had this feeling that, oh shit, that uh, because uh, these cubes are orange, that this was the, this was the stage. It definitely triggered. Anyway, the, 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 right, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Fuck off. And go to hell and die. Oh, wow, just barely. I think he was on his way down that cube to take me out. Whoa, I almost fucked myself with that one. You know what? Take a hike. Oh, you mother... I think it was because he was not on the edge when I hit the, uh... Whatever the hell those things are. Safer's, safer spot is the bottom because you have more time to react to uh, the snake. And... You have more room to work with down there, too. Oh, so that's what happens when you get the green guy. I'm, I, I mean, I don't know if that clears everything off the screen, or if it makes me invincible, or something. Because there's nothing. There was. There weren't any enemies to deal with. Oh, he just appeared. See, that's a bad spot right there. The, the right b before the top, because you barely have time to get out of the way. Just go ape shit while there's nothing on the screen. Whoop. That's what I wanted to do. See, again, I get, once I get into panic mode-ish, and there's a lot of shit on the screen, I start freaking out a little bit, and I don't know what the hell I'm pressing. That's when that whole thing of forgetting the directionals and kind of going based on feel go out the window. All right. So the one thing about the uh, about the later stages, or you know, at this point of the game anyway, is uh, you know you do get more of those. I don't know. I guess 
not invincibilities, but the, uh, you know, the little escape routes, I guess you could say. That green guy hasn't really been coming around too often. It's definitely been more snake than anything. Oh, I, I, see, that was, I hit the wrong damn button. I was trying to go left. Oh, I missed the one over there. Oh, shit. All right, so this is the one, and it, it, it's all over. That was the last stage. Not the last stage, but it was my last life. So that's, once you get to that point of the game, you, um, I had, you know, it's like, I what I was doing was I was actually, myself, was turning them, reverting them back to the old color, and you, you can't do that. Uh, you know, you have to, you have to have them, you know, all turned off, or whatever the hell, you know, the nature of the <clears throat> whatever is happening here whatever cuber is actually doing to manipulate these cubes whatever's supposed to be going on in in the in, in the plot of the of the game uh yeah that's how that that was what was going on there i i don't really remember if you get to a point where you start changing two colors uh and then also change them back to the uh to the original to the original color. I'm not really sure I never got that far into it. Uh, so that's it for Qbert. Uh, if you have any requests for future throwbacks, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thanks for sticking around and watching this, and uh, I'll see you next week.